Hi, this is Ivana and Georgina, and we're going to teach how to make a word mosaic on an internet application called Image Chef. First, you have to go to www.imagechef.com. Scroll down just a little bit and click on the option Word Mosaic. First, you need to choose what color text you want. We're going to choose the color purple. With a background color white. Next, you choose your font, and I think we'll stick with Sketch. Um, choose a symbol, or alternatively, you could type in an initial, but we'll show you that one afterwards. Next, you type in what text you want. It could be your name, a favourite saying, or poem. You can also decide whether you want to add a picture in with it. We're going to choose a, a heart. Next, you click Preview and wait for your, your creation to show up. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom left-hand corner, there is a little coloured box. So if you click on that, you could choose a colour from there to change your font. So I think we'll choose black. And then you, if you click on a heart or a letter, and it changes the colour. And you can just click round a little bit until you find what until you find out what you like. So we can't save these, so we have to take a screenshot. So if you hold Command, Shift, and 4, your little arrow or hand will turn into a cross. So you drag it up, click, and pull it down to cover up your image. You then let go, and it will immediately be saved to the desktop. So if you just minimize the screen, and click over to there, and you can just find your screenshot and open it up. Now, if you like, you could just go Command and P to print it, but otherwise you don't have to. So now you guys might want to see an uh, example with your initial. So if you go back to Image Chef again, and we just click on the initials bar next to the symbol, And you can type in your initial. Some text. And a shape if you like. And once again click preview. Now, and then you can go back to the bottom left hand corner. And once again you can change some of the text to your preferred colour. And you can just take another screenshot with Command Shift 4 again, drag it around your picture, and it will automatically be saved to the desktop. So if you minimize that, we can just have a quick look. And there are your creations. Thanks for listening and now you guys should have a go. <laughs>